packing. So, uh, I think what we're looking at here is the old canal. There used to be a canal that ran up the, the eastern shore of Lancaster County. Lancaster County, that's Three Mile Island. That's the very end of Three Mile Island. Over top there is York County. We're just north of York Haven and Falmouth, Pennsylvania is right back there beyond this tree. This is the old path of the canal and it ran up here probably underneath that bridge. That bridge wasn't there. The railroad train is just up the top of this this wall. We're gonna take this route to get to the northern section of Conewago Falls. One of the things I really like about this area, Conewago Falls, is uh, the plant life that grows up in the cracks of these rocks. Now look at this thing right here. I mean, it's, it's growing right out of that crack there. And uh, this time of year, in the fall, when things start, the colors start to change, the leaves start to change, you get a lot of different uh, colors and you combine them with some of these potholes and you just get a really nice effect like this, like the, the kind of that reddish leaf against the, uh, the black of the rock. There's one there. When the sun comes out, it just pops. Um, I'm thinking this might be this kind of bridge thing we walked across. Uh, I don't think that this is the diabase. I think this might be the, the phyllite above the diabase, but I'm not sure. You can see the, um, uh, you can see it's the bedding is going this way. It's almost vertically. The dip is almost vertical. All right, we're making some good progress. So we worked our way out on the end of this, uh, this rock kind of bridge here. And uh, now we have to make a choice. I could go this way, cross these riffles, up to the very southern tip of Three Mile Island, which is right here. And yes, that is uh, the infamous Three Mile Island inspiration for the movie, The China Syndrome. I think it had Jane Fonda in it, um, where there was a meltdown. That took place, I think, in 1979. And they evacuated this this entire area um it's kind of like you know what's you got to wonder what kind of wild animals are are living on that island is it, is it like chernobyl where the fallout produces these uh kind of island of dr moreau type of animals with like you know deer with two heads and three-headed wolves with with uh wings you know that type of thing uh so if I wanted to go to Three Mile Island, um, I could go that way. I don't even know if you're really allowed to go on there. I don't know if that's a, a no trespassing zone or whatever. But uh, so I'm not going to go that way. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to retrace a little bit, come back around here because where we want to go is right down here to the northern part of the Conewago Falls, where all the potholes and the diabase is. All right, I'll pick it up when I get to a good spot. So if you watched uh, the episode where I go down the Shocks Mill Bridge and I go back into the Jacuzzi Forest and I find the, the hot tub in the forest. Uh, and I'll post a link to that episode right up here. Uh, you remember uh, one of the things I said I found uh, one time when I was down there was this, uh, was this cool river buoy. And I went to see if it was there and it had, washed, it had washed away. Well, today we're in luck because it just so happens that 
there's a river buoy right here. This is a little island in between Three Mile Island and the east coast of the Susquehanna River. And this, this, the white, the white caught my eye. I mean, this is, sounds like it's got water in it. It says restricted area, three, two, one. I don't know, restricted area. So I don't know where this came from. Uh, there's probably quite a few of these around Three Mile Island. It's made out of plastic and then it's got this thing, which I guess keeps it floating upright. But yeah, I mean, here it is. That's like an official Susquehanna River uh, warning buoy. Three, two, one. Maybe I can use that number to figure out where it came from. All right, I'm hoping that the tip of this island connects through and it looks like it does. I just saw something up there. There goes a huge bird. I don't know what that is. I don't know if you can see it. All right, I think this is gonna be successful. We are at the extreme southern tip of the world famous Three Mile Island right there. And the section of the river that comes around to the east side of it flows over those riffles. We're starting to, I'm starting to see some of the diabase. The diabase is gonna have a more rounded, uh, more rounded surface than the, uh, I think, fill light, which is kind of chalky and angular. Um, that's the dam there, the York Haven Dam, right there. There's something washed up in the trees there that's on our way, so let's go check that out. Well, it seems like we have stumbled upon some type of primitive encampment. There's a uh, makeshift fire pit. Looks like they used this thing. And they got a little sleeping mat there. They seem to prefer drinking natural ice beer and throwing their crap everywhere. Here's a, uh, a hammock made out of a tent. That's kind of interesting. I think we're almost there. All right, we seem to be breaking out of the, of the scrub land. And I definitely think we're on the dive base. Whoa. came across this rather large expanse of kind of flat, almost like a diabase pavement here. And uh, this big rock over here looks, looks like somebody's trying to set up some type of primitive shelter. It's getting a little windy. As you can see, some of these, these boulders get rather large. Let's see, 
if we can get up here. All right, so we're just around the corner now. We can actually get a peek around the corner uh, as the river's coming downstream. This dam runs the whole way from Three Mile Island, the whole way down to York Haven, which is right there, that red building, that's the power station right there. This is what's known as Conewaga Falls. Starts right there, this whole section of river right here. Sweeps up, and that's where we came from, up by that bridge there. Just these massive diabase boulders of all kinds. And what you get a lot of here are these, these potholes, which are created by, you know, water flowing around with pebbles. A lot of these have pebbles in the, in the bottoms, which serve as kind of like sandpaper, just kind of scour out the hole. This is actually a pretty high one right here. We're looking at about a 10 foot drop. Let's go see what this shelter is all about. And here, this thing is, this thing is actually cracked into three pieces. One, two, three. And over here, you can see the whole way down through the entire boulder underneath. And this boulder looks like it's floating free. Let's go see what this shelter is all about. All right. Uh, <laughs> there you go. Check this out. I found a mask. Yeah. Hey. People wearing their mask out here. I don't think you really need it, but it's like they were trying to put something together. And there is a little bit of shelter here. But you know, I guess right here is where they were thinking about building a little shelter. It looks like they collected some, some logs, but it doesn't look like they got very far. One of the things I've always been interested in trying is to try to just walk across the river here because when the water is low enough, you know, as you can see, all these, I mean, it's just rocks everywhere. And I always like to think that, you know, if you just pick the right line, pop, 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 you'll, um, you'll be able to, you know, walk across the river, at least over to that dam there. Uh, there is some interesting boulders over on that side too that I've never been to. Uh, Look at this one. There. Whole way to there. And we're basically in almost like this little rock enclosure here. You know, if you had a tribe of people living out here, they could sit on all these rocks and people could take, take turns standing in the middle and saying whatever they wanted to say, right? Be a nice area to do that. And here's a little shelter cave. A lot of times when you get down into the shelter caves here, they get they get a little grimy. Came up over this rock and spotted this. What looks to be a deceased turtle. You see a shell right there. At first I thought he might be alive, but then I saw the little feet. You can see the little bones there. Yeah. Now the best, the best of the potholes pothole country if you want to call it. it starts right about here and it heads down to uh, that second power line not this one but there's another one down there and that's prime real estate if you're looking for uh, big jumbo potholes this is a nice little seat if you're looking for uh, big jumbo potholes and a really kind of sculptural uh, diabase boulders and uh, that kind of stuff um, and that's really the, in my opinion that's like the, the the most interesting or the neatest and also the most photogenic part of this uh, area of Conewago Falls if you ever want to come and get some pictures 
uh, good pictures of potholes and sculpted rocks and stuff. Park at the Falmouth boat launch. Take the trail up. There's a trail that goes up north, that heads north, kind of follows the old canal, and go up to the, uh, I think it's the third power line cut, and then cut down, and then you'll be right in the center of uh, what I think is really the best of the best. I've been up here, this is probably my sixth time here. Um, I spend most of my time down there. Uh, it's not really that far from here. Um, and it's just acre upon acre upon acre of, uh, of potholes and whatnot. If you check out uh, the Topo Ranger Instagram feed, that's T-O-P-O -O underscore Ranger, that's Topo underscore Ranger at Instagram, uh, and you uh, scroll down into last year, uh, I posted a lot of videos that I took with my phone a year ago. I stabilized them and put them up in little one-minute clips. And um, I go to, there's two what I call spider holes down there. Uh, you can kind of see a lot of that stuff. Um, I'm not going to head there today because that's like kind of its own thing. And I really uh, have other places I want to go. Um, maybe next summer we'll come back and we'll, uh, we'll do a full uh, pothole country video. Um, with this with the with the new camera um because like i said all i have is some not so great footage that i shot with my phone uh i think today what we're gonna do um there is another place i want to go check out called the governor's stable which is a, a a large uh boulder cave made out of the diabase it's a it's about a mile northeast of falmouth which is right over here uh has some some cool historical uh things going on with it um I want to kind of go scout that, see if I can find that. Um, so I want to leave a little time on the back end of this afternoon. So for right now, I think what we're going to do is we're going to head back up here on the way back to the car, to Conewaga Creek there. Uh, there was a spot where the, uh, the fill light created this kind of bedrock riffle. And if, if, if we're going to get across the river on foot in this area, I'm thinking that that's probably the best place because down here, there are a lot of rocks here, as you can see. And you need, down there, you can get about halfway across, but they all kind of hit uh, the main flow of the river, which gets pretty strong. And I don't necessarily want to uh, go through there today, get wet. I have been in there. I did do some uh, creek crawling here last year. Uh, I didn't film any of it. And the current's strong. It's very strong, but it's cool. There's catfish, there's all kinds of cool stuff. I think we'll probably wind up doing that next summer too. We'll, we'll bring the kayak up here. But for right now, we're gonna head back that way and we're gonna try to find the uh, the best outcrop riffle that cuts across and see how far we can get. Who knows, maybe we'll be able to get the whole way over to the dam, all right? So uh, let's go check it out. All right, well, I found that bedrock riffle or that bedrock line that I was talking about. I saw it on the way down uh, when we were coming down here. And I do think starts right here basically I'm on this I'm on this little rock not far from shore this one this one won't do it it peters out this one starting right here follow my finger it goes the whole way across now of course when I'm down this low I can't accurately gauge what the distance is between uh, each section of rock so that section right there where you got the most flow coming through in addition to this one right here um that section right about there that you know that could be 50 feet across it doesn't look like it from here but it could be but just in terms of having a rock you can kind of skip jump across except for that one big break it picks up on the other eye on the other side i mean to me it looks like it goes the whole way over there and you can really see the dam there. The main flow is coming off the dam. It's going that way on the other side. And the main flow on this side is coming right through this channel here. And then the rest of it's coming up to this channel here and it crosses over these, these little, it's almost like steps here. And I think this is the fill light. Now, I can't get to this because this is a pretty fast flow here and it's, and it's deep. I coming across here. I, I almost got. Uh, I almost went over my boots there. If I went in here right now, my boots would fill with water. I'd probably slip and fall into the water, and uh, I don't know. I'd probably just get up and be cold. 
Um, I don't want to get all wet right now, so uh, we're not going to do that on this uh, on this trip. But this line right here, I'm thinking, you know, maybe uh, you could do it now if you didn't mind getting wet or uh, risk getting washed downstream, downriver. Maybe next time we come up here, if the water's even a little lower, I mean, you, you put down this water about another six inches, and uh, it, this is really going to be very, very, very doable, I think. Um, but for right now, uh, I, I don't feel like crossing this little bit here because I don't think I could do it without getting soaking wet and getting my boots filled with cold water. Um, because that's just really not what I want to want to do today. It's kind of it's actually kind of cold out today. It's supposed to be in the mid 60s, but it's cloudy and windy and kind of chilly. So we'll leave that for another time. For right now, why don't we head back up, head back up the uh, the east side of the river here? And that bridge right there is where we're going. We're parked at the end of that bridge. Hey guys. Uh. I'm not sure what I just saw, but I was uh, sitting down here to take a water break, and I just happened to be looking down there at the, uh, that's the very southern end of Three Mile Island. And uh, I was just kind of looking over there and uh, I saw a deer kind of come out of the woods, get a drink, and then turn around and go back in the woods. When it turned around, uh, I could, st I mean, I could see clearly the thing had two heads. And, you know, I kind of did a double take. But, uh, I mean, unless I was hallucinating, there was a two-headed deer right there. The one head was normal, and uh, the other head was kind of like a, a miniature, almost like a half-size head. And it, it, I mean, to be honest, it almost looked like a, like a little dog head or something. It was weird. It, it kind of looked like something that just grew out and was like, you know, oh God, oh God. I, I just, I don't know, maybe, maybe I am hallucinating. I don't know. That's, that's, that kind of freaks me out. I mean, I've heard about animals, weird animals around Chernobyl and stuff. Uh, I mean, you can go on YouTube and see videos of like moose with like, legs sticking out of their belt their 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 butts and stuff like I mean it does happen and uh I'm pretty sure what I saw oh god that's freaky man all right um it makes me want to kind of come back there at some point and investigate although I don't think you're allowed on there I think they might patrol this area for that very reason Ugh, man, Jesus. That's gonna be hard to get out of my head. All right. We're almost at that access bridge. So we're gonna go check out the stable, Governor's stable. Um, so it's gonna wrap it up for this episode. I hope you guys had a good time. I know I did, all right? This is Brett for Topo Ranger. Signing out.